Hey everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Actually, this is 2012, we're in the first week. Today we're going to try some of my friend John Thorsby's homemade hot sauce. Don't know exactly what's in it, but he said a lot of good stuff. And I was going to try to get a little bit more details out of him, but I figure we're just going to try it and see how it is. Now it was already open, so... The fragrance is that of, well, I'm going to let others describe it, and speak up, don't forget. It smells fruity. And we got some taco wagon, taco truck, or items to eat, so we're going to try it on some real food. Yeah, it smells uh, really fruity, uh, mango-y kind of, like it's a nice citrusy or a fruity flavor. It's quite thick. Trying to get it out of the bottle. It's almost like uh, Heinz ketchup. It wants it's wanting to come, but it's pretty thick. It's starting to flow a little bit now. Nice glob there. I'm gonna give y'all some tries there. And we are going to try John's wonderful sauce. Now just a little note, John and I were talking about hot sauces, and he said that he was going to make one especially for me, which this is the one here. And we talked about a lot of fruits like kiwis and uh, mangoes, etc. A lot of tropical fruits. And he said that's what inspired him to make this sauce. Now, the little bit I got on my fingers was excellent. Yeah. Let's try it now in a, a taco. Mmm. Mmm. John. I like the kick right to the back of the throat, but the flavors are outstanding. I have to agree with my father. Um, the the flavor, like as soon as you take a bite into it, the initial flavor is just great, and it's not it's not too too like bad like on the heat level, but it's a it's a nice little kick to it too. So it's a it's a good sauce for you putting on onto stuff. So it tastes really good. I'm a lightweight, and if I eat this, that's pretty good. I really like it. And you taste the fruit right away, and then it goes to the back of the throat, but it's not overkill. So it's very pleasant. Very, very good, John. Once again, oh, two thumbs up. I really appreciate it, brother. This is the most wonderful sauce. Think about um, maybe a little thinner, so I can get it out of the bottle easier. <laughs> but, mmm. The flavor is outstanding, man. And you know, ironically, it tastes like it smells. Now, a lot of sauces don't. They'll smell differently than they taste. This one actually smells like it tastes. Very, very good. You see what you get. So, for a glutton for punishment test, <clears throat> no name John Thorsby sauce from New York. This came from the East Coast. That's where he lives. And if you want, you can check him out on Thorsby Photography. I'll have to give you a better website address once I edit this out. But once again, John, much thanks, bro. I can't thank you enough. This is so good, man. Excellent. This ain't going to last long. Can't wait to see what the ingredients are. Very, very good. And I can't wait to find out what you're going to do with it. Because this definitely needs to go out on a shelf somewhere in some stores. Excellent. 
So until next time, glutton for punishment, doing a no-name sauce test. We'll see you next time. Y'all be good. Thank you very much. Take care. Well, you can see how much is gone. We just finished our tacos. And John Thorsby's compliment is the bottle's almost gone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. John, you're the man, dude. I'm telling you. Get together with uh, maybe Steve Seasbury or one of the other sauce makers and find out who puts their sauces together. And my suggestion is bottle this bad boy stuff, man, because this stuff's going to sell. Good stuff, dude. Thank you. Letting for punishment. Over and out.